Hi everyone, this is Eric with VBAstring.com and coming at you with another video about how to create cascading combo boxes in your Excel worksheet under user forms. So, uh, for example, you have this, uh, you click search, and I did this in a previous video, previous video, but uh, the only problem with that was that you had to, no uh no distinct values and the numbers were not sorted correctly so or the dates are not sorted correctly so here i have individual dates are all unique um here i have make year make model the typical thing uh if i select a year i'm only going to get the makes that correspond to that year so I'm always going to get a result down here. So uh, 2000 Nissan Sentra. Okay, that's the only choice I have. And uh, two records are found. So that's good. And then reset puts it all back to, to null. Okay, and if I, <clears throat> if I look at this, um, I have all my data here. And they're all... Now this is using ADO. Before I wouldn't use a in a prior video, in the prior post that you may see, I, I did not use ADO, and primarily there, there's a, a purpose behind that, but uh, here, I, okay, select, select, oh, by the way, if you are getting value out of these videos, click the subscribe button right now, and click the notification bell, so you're notified of each video I release when I release it. Also, smash that like button. And if you want to see the, uh, if you want to see this, if you want me to post this, uh, uh, this workbook, make sure you leave a comment uh, in the, in the, uh, the comments below and tell me that you want me to post it because you don't, you need an example. But anyway, without further ado, okay, this is a name range. One of the things with the ADO is that uh, you need to have a, a name range. It, Excel identifies everything in the columns and cells as a uh, particular range. And uh, oh, and you can get the code at vbhstring.com. It's down there in the description box below. Now, if I click on this, I have new table. <clears throat> new table and so it selects everything in my name range here this is a name box by the way years it, this doesn't doesn't really matter I was toying around with it but um, it doesn't really matter but what Excel will do if you have a name range because now it identifies it all and contiguous cells consecutive cells cells right columns right all when all the data is right by each other okay it uh like if you have a b c it identifies this as a table so if i sort this it sorts out the whole table a lot of times i see one person selecting each column and trying to sort it well not necessary it'll sort based on Based on the, if you if you select an item in the column and you and you click on uh, data and sort, it's gonna sort this. It's gonna sort sort out by the by the column. Okay, I'll just click the button right here. It's going to sort short out by the column, so that's good. Um, the next thing here, so I think I've established that point. Uh, if you go into the code, let's look at the code. Cats getting combo boxes. And I have my user form here. Uh, BTN search, we've established this in a prior video. Here's the way I used to do it. I was doing it in a previous video. I left it here for first to look at 
Okay, this this is nice, simple, easy, but I would much rather use ADO to do it, active data objects, uh, because it's a better way of accessing your data, and it's Excel already has it, so why not go ahead and use it? Yeah, I may do a little bit of overhead, but we're not doing stuff from the from the 80s or 90s anymore. We have the processing power, thicker, bigger computers, a lot more memory. So yeah, time wise is really negligible. So whenever the user form initializes, I'm loading the years, makes models, and load years. Okay, I um, have my connection object, my my record set object, my SQL string, my counters, and uh, here's the the path here, connection string, and the provider selecting. Here's my SQL string right here. So if because we have a table, we have select distinct year from new table. Remember, this is my range here. It's a name range. Here's the field at my name range. And order by year. So distinct, I get one, I get in the unique unique values. And my year from new table. And then I bang it. Um, and then I go ahead and add it to my combo box. Each each value incremented if I want to. If I want to create an index, good. Uh, if you want to get an index, do do that. Do this argument right here, arg index. But I really didn't need to do that, so I have I have this, and here no data was found for years. But of course there's data. But I just put this in here for just just in case the first security. Okay, <clears throat> and up here, notice I have a year clear, but that's before anything else happens. And I'm doing the same thing with make, and I'm doing the same thing with model. I'm selecting the unique values. And notice it differs from this, from just the the plain entry where I'm loading everything in the boxes. Okay, I don't need to sort out my, here I have to have compare up. If I want unique values, I have to compare up with it dictionary object or with I got to compare by my values that I'm adding with the dictionary to get and saying add it or not add it based on that <clears throat> okay so next and again if you don't want to listen to the whole video don't listen to it okay and uh, go um, you could turn it off uh, it's got a long window but I'm explaining why what the what the deal is here and all these little intricacies search okay here when I select right now I'm getting all my values I'm loading it with all my values every value that's in each column a unique listing now but when I select the year Okay, like 2003, I'm only getting the makes that correspond to 2003. So I have a Subaru, and this, I'm not getting graded by spelling, so these spellings are wrong. Um, so I'm passing the year to get the, the makes. So here, let's look at the code. Notice I'm using a different, here I'm doing alternate F11 to bring bring back this I just want to get to my code change make where's it at <clears throat> okay so on the change event whenever the combo box whenever I click the drop down on the combo box I fire the change event and whenever I do change change makes I call the procedure change makes with the argument of year Okay, and I'm pressing my space bar and I get a, a year. Notice that my down here I have a procedure called change makes and it's asking for the argument of year. Load the combo box with unique makes. And then here, uh, the only thing different with all this is this SQL statement. 
select the snake bag from the table where year equals year, whatever my year was that I passed to it. And then order by make. Okay, so it's ordered. And again, if I, if, this is a far easier way to sort because otherwise I'd throw it into a, a ADU record set anyway and I'd have to sort. And anyway, it makes things more complicated. So uh, you might as well just use ADU. <laughs> uh, it, it's my opinion. But and then make, I have two arguments I'm passing for it. Whenever make changes, I'm going to pass the year and the make to get the to get the model, the year and the make. And again, change, select model where the year and the make. Okay. And that's about it. Then I get this effect right here. Okay. Bang, 1998, then the make, there's only one make for 98, this is intro. And then I click that, and I get, it does a search on the new table, and it's all good. So, hopefully you got value out of this video. Again, my name's Eric, come out to vbastring.com, and you can get the code. Um, make sure you like the this video and subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification and you'll be notified of every time I release of every video I release or when I release them. Leave your comments in in the box below. Questions, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. Thanks for watching.